Hey everybody, it's Katie. I'm here with my February wrap up and my March TBR. I read a total of 15 books this month, which is kind of ridiculous considering it's a short month. I did read a bunch of graphic novels this month, which I had never done before, but they're included in here. So let's get going. So the first book I read this month was Sweet Evil. Um, by Wendy Higgins. I read this at the very beginning of the month. I really, really enjoyed this. Um, I do have a uh, review of this book, so I read this one. The next book that I finished in February, I had actually started in January. It was an audiobook, and it was The Moon and More by Sarah Destin, so I finished this one up. After that, I read The Selection Stories by Kira Cass. This is a bind-up of the two um, little novellas she's got. One is The Prince and the other is The Guard. I actually do own this book, but I've lent it out to my sister-in-law, so this is just a picture of what it looks like. The next book that I finished was another audiobook. It was The Dark Light by, or Dark Light by uh, Leslie Livingston. This is the book two in the Wondrous Strange series. So I finished this one up. The next book that I did was the graphic novel for Blue Bloods by Melissa De La Cruz. This is the first book in the Blue Bloods series. I've actually read this series completely, but she has a um, graphic novel, which I think is kind of great. The pictures are fun, and I really like this series, and so I picked this one up. I think this is the only graphic novel they have of that series. I'm kind of hoping they do the rest of the series in graphic novels because I really enjoyed this. The next three books that I did, I did over Valentine's Day weekend. They're all little romance novels. So the first one I did was Protecting the Princess by Lisa Childs, His Valentine Bride by Cindy Kirk, An Officer, A Baby, and a Bride by Tracy Madison. These were all really quick little reads. They were perfect for Valentine's Day. You know, just little romance novels for the romantic weekend. So I read these three in a weekend. Next was another audiobook that I finished up, which was Impossible by Nancy Whirlin. I thought this book was a little boring. It took me a while to get through it, but I did finish it up. The next book was a, another graphic novel. It was Artemis Fowl, the graphic novel. This is another cool, um, th this one's got really cool graphics in it as well. I really enjoyed it. It was a nice quick read. These are a middle grade book. I've read all of this series as well, and now I'm kind of doing them in the graphic novel form. And I thought they were a really good representation of the actual story. So I thought this was really good. The next book was the third graphic novel that I did, which was Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan. Um, again, really cool graphics on the inside. Quick read. Really liked it. I know that the ne at least the next two are in graphic novels. I'm not sure if all five of the original series is in graphic novels, but I'm kind of assuming since they've done the first three that they'll do the other two if they haven't already. So, so I read this one. So the next one was another audiobook that I did, and it was Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. I loved this book. I'm going to do a um, review of this, but I thought this was absolutely wonderful. Um, I really actually want to go and purchase this book um, I, since I enjoyed it so much, but it was fun to listen to it. If you really enjoyed Fangirl, you might want to pick it up in an audiobook. I really liked, um, I thought it was a really well done audiobook, so I picked this one up, or I listened to this one. The next book that I did was The Rise of Nine by Pitticus Lore. This is the third book in the Lorian Legacies series. I actually listened to the other two in audiobook and I found them much easier to follow because it jumps back between different chapters or different characters and the way they do it in the book is the font changes but it's just a slight change so sometimes it took me a good paragraph and a half or so to figure out who was actually being the narrator for each chapter but I did like the story it was a little bit of I think this is probably the slowest one of the three um, it didn't really get super exciting until really close to the end of the book, but I'm going to continue on the series because I am really enjoying it. So I read this one. 
The last audiobook that I did was The Exiled Queen by Cinda Williams Chima. This is book two in the Seven Realms series. Um, I've had this one on my iPod for quite a while. I'd started it a long time ago and kind of got out of it. So I re-listened to the beginning part of it and listened through the end of it and thought it was pretty good. I'm going to pick up the next one in the series, hopefully this month, to listen to, but I do really enjoy this series. It's kind of a high fantasy-ish series, so I like this one. And the last book that I'm going to include in this um, wrap-up is Percy Jackson and the Olympians, the Demigod Files. Technically I finished this book today, which is March 2nd, so I really technically finished it in March, but it is a library book, so I'm going to have to return it before the end of the month, so I figured I'd just include it on this wrap-up since it's I, fin I started it in February, I just didn't finish it because I had a wedding to go to yesterday and it was busy the day before. So. I am including this in this wrap-up, even though technically it should be in my March wrap-up, but I did read this one. So there was a few books that were on my original TBR from last month that I did not read. Um, a few of them are going to go back onto this month's uh, TBR, but some of them I'm going to just put back up in my shelves, and I kind of went way off my TBR this month, just kind of picked up things that I wanted to read. So. This month for my TBR, I'm just going to pick a few books and then pick up other books and we'll see what I end up reading in next month's wrap up. So the books that I had on last month's TBR that I'm putting back on this month's TBR are these books. So the first one from last month is going to be Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I really want to reread this series in the actual book format. I've listened to them in audiobooks multiple, multiple, multiple times, but I haven't picked the books back up um, in a really long time. So this year I'd really like to reread this whole series. So I'm hoping to actually read this this month, um, but I have a few library books that I need to read first and then I'll pick this one up. But this is um, on my list from last month that I'm continuing to put on to this month. So book one. Another book from last month's TBR that I'm putting back on this month's TBR is The Island of the Isle of Night. Um, which is book one of the Watcher series by Veronica Wolf. Um, I do really want to read this. This is a vampire book, so I'm going to put this one back on my TBR for March. So in the down bar, I'll list the couple books that are that were on my TBR from February that I am not putting back on my TBR for this month, but I will read them eventually. So. I will put those in the down bar. Now we're going to go on to the new books that I'm putting on for my TBR for this month. The first book is going to be Sweet Peril by Wendy Higgins. This is the second book in the Sweet Evil series. I tr really, really love the first one. I just haven't picked this one up yet, but I will this month. So this is my first new book for this month. The next book is Tempestuous by Leslie Livingston. This is the third book in the Wonder Strange trilogy. I read book two last month, so I'm going to read book three and finish up this trilogy this month. The first audiobook that I'm going to do is Divergent by um, Veronica Roth. I have wanted to start this series. I'd started this series a while ago, but I only got a few pages into it and then put it down, and I'm going to listen to it and see if I can get through it um, this month. So I'm going to listen to this one. So I have two graphic novels. I've got Artemis Fowl and The Arctic Inci Incident. These are by Owen Coffer. Um, the other one was also by Owen Coffler. So this is book two of the Artemis Fowl series. So this is Wicked Lovely, The Desert Tale Sanctuary. I think this is part one. Um, this is by Melissa Marr. I have read the Wicked Lovely series as well, so I don't think these are actually um, graphic versions of that series. I think there are other tales for that series, because this doesn't look like any of the books, so I think this is just some additional stories in that same world, so I picked this up. The next book is a companion book. This is Nefertiti's Curse by PC Cass and Kira Kristen Cass. This is the House of Night series. I have read this series. I have the most recent book on my um, iPad, but I'm not going to read it until the last book comes out, which is next year. Um, 
just because there's such a big gap between when those books come out and I haven't read them in so long that I probably need to reread at least the last book if not the whole series again before I kind of finish up the series but I can read this little companion novel story that goes with it so I'm going to read this. The last book that I'm going to list on this TBR is Unearthly by Cynthia, well I can't say her name for the life of me, Cynthia Hand. Um, so this is a new series. I haven't started, obviously this is book one. I haven't started this series, but I've wanted to. It is a Fallen Angel series. So this is the last book I'm going to actually list now. However, I will most likely read other books and we'll kind of just see what I end up picking up. So. Uh, I hope you like my TBR, my wrap up. If you want to see reviews of any of the books that I read last month, um, just let me know in the down bar and I will try and tape those. I am going to do a review of Fangirl, but if there's any of the other ones that you want to see an actual review of, let me know um, of the books that I'm planning to read. If you have read any of them, let me know what you thought of them and I will see you next time. Bye!